This is courtesy of TechCrunch. YouTube is removing the dislike count on all videos across its platforms. Boo, boo, boo. Um, they're going to tell you they're doing this because they want to protect small creators like myself, but it's not. It's to protect the big corporations and the big brands who don't like it when customers, um, potential customers, potential viewers decide that they want to inform them that they don't like what they're currently making. That's basically it. That's it. They tell them they don't like what they're doing at the moment. They tell them they're not vibing with it, right? And then they yeah, they basically vibe, tell them, right? Voting with their flipping dislike button that they don't like what they're presenting. And these brands and corporations don't like it. So now they're basically going to these platforms because they're the ones that provide most of the advertising dollars to them in their first place, which basically are the reasons why a lot of these brands are able to stay afloat. They didn't kind of bend to their every single need. And now they're doing all these things that are going to, again, not not really solve anything because if anything this is going to just lead to more people leaving negative comments about certain things and then using the upvotes on the comments to basically tell people that this video has been disliked very heavily that's basically going to be the thing or we're going to see very low numbers of likes on videos not correlating to the amount of views so that's also going to be obvious that somebody's not liking everything and again the irony of youtube deciding to remove the dislike button or the dislike count from youtube but doing nothing to address bots or fake views and shit nothing so to remove the dislike count but then people making accounts and you know getting fake views on it to leverage them to get new brand opportunities like you know people like you know have been reported um coffee zilla reported on the ace family right um the ace family supposedly they're like a family vlogging channel and they've basically been uncovered that they use their particular service or boutique thing whatever that it basically was used to monitor their social media activity respond to hateful comments hide certain things and obviously inflate their youtube numbers which then led them to get other brand deals so things that are basically co costing youtube millions basically from lost kind of earnings or whatnot they're not one to address but let's get rid of the dislike count because it upset disney or marvel or dc or paramount or warner brothers and shit it's like come on man bullshit so let's read the article it says youtube today announced that its decision to make the dislike count on videos private across this platform the decision is likely to be controversial given the extent of impacts on global visibility into a video's reception but youtube believes that the change will better protect its creators from harassment and reduce the threat of what it calls dislike attacks essentially when a group of teams drive up the numbers of dislikes and the video receives that's not really a thing though most people that use the dislike button use it to basically um illustrate or to basically vocalize their disliking of a particular video i have many videos on my channel that have massive amounts of dislikes um vis-a-vis -vis their likes it doesn't impact what the content i put out because i know some of the videos i put out might be controversial they might not be the most popular sort of opinion they might just not be the opinion that's shared by most people which is completely fine so if they vote with their feet or vote with their clicks by not viewing the video so it's got a low view count and they may be having crazy amounts of dislikes that let lets you know that most people that are watching your video don't agree with what you say cool but it doesn't mean it doesn't really mean anything right because it could mean what it could mean that it can it could mean that you might have to change the way you think and revise how you view things that could be one thing or it could just mean that people other people have a differing opinion to you about other things about the same thing they're talking about it could just be that it could be fine but these corporations want to control everything about how things are perceived and how they're written about but in the actuality it doesn't make any difference because if your movie sucks we're still not going to watch it anyway the box office numbers are still going to say what they're going to say um people are still not going to buy the toys or you know, you know talk about it much on social media with any kind of glowing sort of terms that like it's not going to make any difference and now especially besides that rotten tomato because the because the sort of registered or the kind of authentic, not authentic, because the kind of authorized views or whatnot, right? The ones that they want, that you're meant to trust are so compromised. Now those views for people that actually go to movies, the users of generated views are the ones that people actually kind of pin their hat on because those are from actual real people who don't have ideologically based, um, info, no, they don't have, uh, their tastes aren't, informed by the ideology right those people that actually go to watch these movies so those opinions so when, when you see screenshots of people uploading a dave Chappelle special and saying oh don't listen to the actual you know the actual reviewers L look at the actual audience members because that's a fair reflection on what the quality of the item is actually going to be like on the product or service whatever it may be but anyway continue 
So see, the company says that while the dislike count won't be visible to the public, it's not removing the dislike button itself. Users can still click the thumbs down button on videos to signal dislike for creators privately. Meanwhile, creators will be able to track the dislikes on YouTube Studio alongside the analytics about a video's performance if they choose. So if they want to see it, they can. If they don't want to see it, they don't want to see it. But you won't see the numbers of dislikes. It'll just be the button will still be there. So it's just pathetic. It doesn't make any difference, really. The change follows an experiment YouTube rally this year, whose goal was to determine the sorts of changes that reduce the dislike from creators harassment at the time YouTube explained the public dislike counts can affect creators well-being and may motivate targeted campaigns to add dislikes to videos while there's true dislikes can also serve as a signal to others that videos are clickbait spam or misleading which can be useful of course but let's get rid of it anyway um, YouTube said it's also heard that smaller creators than others who were just getting started on the platform that they felt that they were being unfairly targeted that's so not true man what small creator gets targeted by a whole group of people that don't want to like their video honestly the things that they make up of people just bullshit the experiment confirmed that it was true creators with small channels were targeted with dislike attacks more than regular it, it, youtube declined to share the specific details exactly <laughs> like to through these experiments with tech crush asks however they said they ran the test on multiple months and concluded an in-depth analysis so that's just going to look like you're still going to see the upvotes but you're just not going to see the the numbers of dash likes on there again pretty pathetic mostly protected big corporations who are essentially running youtube just have to look at the trending pages to see the amount of control that they have editorially on that site it's not it's never it, it was it for a small time youtube was the home of small creators right they did kind of you know like the fact that people could go from where i am eleven thousand or so subs to a hundred thousand to to a million or whatnot they did like that but now it's got to a point where they don't really care um you know they get these big brands come in set up their channels on them they probably give them managers and shit to kind of you know set things up and work in collaboration with them all that sort of good stuff and that's where the real big up bucks comes in so it makes sense that they're going to kind of bow to the feet of the people that are actually paying their wages but it's just a bit frustrating to see as again as a long time long time youtube creator and user to see them basically acquiesce into all the demands of the corporation but doing absolutely nothing to change the experience for small medium and large creators who are on this platform who basically form the bedrock of the platform in general but you know you, what can you what can you expect from these people not much in it not much